distinguished uh, guests on the dais, students, faculty, my dear friends. It's a great honor, privilege for me to be here as a part of Indian Technology Congress Association. Uh, it's a great uh, news for us uh, that Nagarjuna institutions have joined in this mission. Uh, it's a national mission. So just to say a few words about the space, it's uh, transforming uh, uh, from uh, race one to race two. A lot of investments are happening around the world. A lot of billionaires are getting into this. A uh, lot of private players, a new space to fast space. So there are a lot of technology developments, developmental cycles, business models are evolving. So last two, three years we are seeing a lot of uh, traction on the space. It's become now a new space. That's called for Space 4.0 or whatever that. It's 1.1 trillion economy by 2030. That may be projected to take into 3 billion, uh, 3 trillion economy by 20, next 30 years, that is 2050. So there are a lot of opportunities for uh, the young students right now. They are studying their education in various uh, levels. And a lot of space industrialization is happening because a lot of startups and industry, uh, entrepreneurship is happening uh, around the space programs. And also United Nations Development Goals, uh, that is the SDG 2030. All 17 goals are benefiting through these space programs which are coming up in the next few years. This all, the driving forces for these uh, factors are in the commercial factors basically. The commercially, I mean a lot of young minds are working on the new business models, uh, new applications are coming up in this area. And uh, also the availability of the technologies like micro and uh, miniaturization and digital technologies. And of course the human imagination. These all factors are driving this new space. Some of the trends happening around uh, space uh, currently the launching revolution is happening. So last year alone about 135 launches have happened. It's a 60% growth to previous year. There are a lot of mega and mass launches are happening around now from last year and this year also like uh, Web Observatory launched last year telescope and a lot of moon missions are happening uh, including India's Chandrayaan and Mars mission India's uh, Gaganyaan and there are five, six countries are working around these moon missions. Asteroid missions are happening. Uh, the other trend is the reusable rocket launches by uh, various uh, startups have come out and as well as SpaceX is doing. Uh, the other trend is small launch vehicles. That's, that's a new trend is coming up. India also is getting into SSLV. Uh, there are a lot of constellations also asking SpaceX and that kind of a organizations which are doing right now. Uh, the other trend is space tourism. 2021, you might have seen there, there are a lot of uh, uh, the space, uh, the, I mean, uh, the man missions to the space to take to uh, orbit uh, is happening, like uh, Blue Origin. And uh, there are 600 people yet to, uh, wanted to travel this space next few years in suborbital. Sub it's, it's again created a new opportunities to all of us. The other major thing where we are getting into is the small satellite program that's under 600 kgs. This is the trend going on for last 2-3 uh, years, uh, I mean it's uh, focusing on last 2-3 years. So particularly on the CubeSats, the launches which are happening uh, around the CubeSat 6U to 12U because of uh, the technology availability and the flexibility and reliability of the uh, missions, the cost advantages. This uh, particularly the applications like communications, remote sensing, military intelligence, scientific data collections and uh, early warning systems. Around 40% of these launches happen uh, of the, uh, the sector of small satellite is only in 2021. It's, it's like uh, booming like anything on small satellite activity. Uh, the other is uh, LEO economy, low earth orbit economy. It's uh, uh, everyone taking advantage of this. Now, not only for the space, space related organizations, non space organizations also getting into these new business models. Um, we have also so like a software uh, at service, like a space at service is coming up as a service. Uh, the expected uh, the internet uh, services. Close to 4 billion people still not getting a proper internet connectivity in the country, in the, uh, worldwide. Uh, the broadband low latency issues and all of that. 5G is coming up, ground stations uh, uh, are establishing many uh, organizations, including last few days we are discussing with Amazon 
they are partnering with uh, Scientify Satellite Vision for their cloud and uh, other ground station applications. Uh, uh, why these small satellites are uh, growing up? Because of the technologies available, particularly the technologies of miniaturization, MEMS and uh, solar cells, batteries becoming smaller and smaller. And um, data and uh, digitalization is one other area uh, the system engineering and project management kind of things are better and the simulation better better things are coming up and uh, industry for technologies particularly the 3d printing is playing a major role in this and of course uh, design uh, com compatibilities competencies skills uh, reliability and reduced uh, development life cycle cost and risk are reduced coming to india india uh, the prime minister's vision as well as india is also uh, declared that the current decade is a tech decade focusing on innovation, entrepreneurship and startups. Uh, uh, India also declared this uh, 16th January is the national startup day and we have close to 16,000 uh, startups working on technology front and uh, about 120 startups are uh, uh, working in space uh, area. This all started in just 2021, majority of them started in 2021. Thanks to Department of Space, their support is uh, uh, it's a really great. Uh, the agencies of uh, Department of Space, ISRO, uh, NSIL, in space, um, also Indian Space uh, Association, which is recently constituted. This all created a new national uh, space ecosystem to participate industry uh, as well as government and academia. There are a lot of opportunities are created around. Uh, talking about our uh, Indian Technology Congress, probably you might be knowing all of you, this is a professional body of technocrats and uh, we are 18 years old and um, we are fostering new technologies like Industry 4.0, agriculture, fission agriculture, we are also into microwave related activities. Currently we are driving our space and satellite program for the last 3-4 years and this is uh, the 75 satellite program was germinated from this association. We have last 3 years working on that. And uh, we conceptualized in 2018-19 uh, period, just before pandemic, um, uh, well before this Ajayadika Mahatsav, we initiated this. And uh, basically, that time, we, our thought is uh, Indian economy. The Prime Minister announced uh, uh, we should have roughly about 5 trillion economy by 2024. So that's a, that's a motive for us. Space is going to play a bigger role in uh, Indian economy. And also, uh, India is targeting about 10 trillion economy by 2030. It's a pan-India mission. PM mission, PM's vision already talked by our uh, senior scientists. ISRO support is the greatest for us, and uh, they're driving a lot uh, and helping a lot of uh, ways in technology side. And also, Kannada government patronage is there for this program. Not only Kannada government, many state governments are joining into this mission now. Uh, particularly students, we wanted to give a complete end-to-end uh, -end life cycle experience in this program to design, develop, fabricate, integrate, launch, all kind of experience including the training we wanted to give which is happening actually in various places currently and it's a multi-level and multi-country multi or multi-worldwide kind of a network we have created. For 75 countries we have, just before we launched this program we had a lot of experiences with uh, various uh, countries where the student satellite uh, activity is going on. With that background only we initiated this and there are a lot of events and uh, training programs we conducted within India and outside. And um, uh, mainly to see that uh, the skills and education of the students to get into the space environment and give a technology demo in the space programs and uh, create a scientific temperament among the students. And they are expected uh, close to 1.5 million jobs by 2030 in the space programs of various, various levels. So let's take the opportunity of this. And uh, the current uh, mission is progressing well. Uh, ISRO is monitoring. They have created a project management committee. They are working on this. So this mission uh, is a mature platform right now, created uh, opportunities for uh, faculty, institutions, and uh, all stakeholders, industry, startups. Uh, hope uh, this institution will take the advantage of this. Congratulations to the institution and the students to get into this program. Thank you.